Hi, my name is uh, John Ryland. I'm here with Brittany Smith, Brianna Bryan, and Yi Wan. We're teaching a class today to Veronica of North County Lifelines. Um, the class it involves Microsoft Word, as well as how to make a basic resume to get her started uh, in her career, eventual career. Um, some of the things we covered in this, in this, um, in this class are uh, Microsoft Word formatting, how to operate the, the program, how to save properly, how to export to a PDF for eventual email, and how to uh, properly set up a resume based on uh, either a already pre-formatted um, Word document or to make one from scratch. Uh, about Veronica, she's a, a young, young uh, female. Uh, she doesn't have very much work experience, so the, the resume itself is kind of difficult to, to, uh, to make. Um, but we, we stress to her the importance of having a, a professional-looking resume to help her um, with her eventual career. Um, so the first thing we talked about with her is to, how to navigate through, through Microsoft Word as far as the toolbar is concerned, as far as how to change basic things like changing font size, font type, font color, how to do uh, basic formatting in, um, of the text. We also threw in a graphic to make her resume look a little more interesting and professional. Um, we also used uh, fonts that were uh, in keeping with a professional looking uh, resume. Um, the final product you see up on the screen is the, the resume that she, that she made uh, during the class. Uh, again, as you can see there, she doesn't have very much work experience, but again, this is her resume in order to, to, build, to build from. Um, some of the things, uh, some of the other things we talked about are how to, how to properly structure the resume as far as her name up top, her, her correct contact information, how to list it properly, or how to list her phone number. The objectives are, are, are a very important part of the resume as far as uh, it tells a, a little bit about her and what she hopes to gain from that particular job that she's applying for. Uh, talks about her, her education. Again, she's only a high school student, so she doesn't have any college education to list when, 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 we, when she did the resume, but that's listed there uh, properly. Uh, talked about her experience. Now, again, with her, she had um, very little work experience, but she did have, have volunteer experience. So that's, that's some of the things we listed was her volunteer experience, which is, uh, in her case, and in many young, young people's cases, uh, the only thing they may have, if anything, and that's um, something that might help them get in get their foot in the doors, depending on what type of job they're looking for. Um, we, we listed all their, their experiences properly, and at the very end, we talked about her skills. And because we taught her Microsoft Word, we also, we also talked about Excel, and we talked about PowerPoint a little bit, and how to, how to effectively navigate to internet, which is also a very important thing to, to, for young people to know nowadays is how to effectively um, navigate to internet. Um, she listed that on, as part of her skill set. Uh, after she was completed with the resume, we, we uh, saved it in the proper Word document, and then we also saved it in the PDF format. We showed her how to do that. Uh, the importance of that PDF format is to ensure that um, it can be properly emailed and distributed throughout when she, when she does finally apply for this job. All in all, Veronica's experience with the class was, was very positive. Um, we all, did, we all uh, participated in that and she, she got a lot, a lot out of it. Uh, not only did she get uh, a very professional looking resume, but she also got the, some, some basic skills on how to operate Microsoft Word when, she was fit, when we were finished with the class. She was uh, proficient in Word, and um, she knew how to, uh, to get that resume done. 